Hi everyone. In this video, I am continuing the basic architecture of FPGA with the two more important logic elements like uh, interconnects and switch matrix. In the previous video, I have started this basic architecture of FPGA with the uh, first architecture we have seen. What are the internal elements? Basically, we have like IO pads, configurable logic blocks, interconnects, and switch matrix. How they are connected together and we have seen what is the purpose of IO block. IO blocks are surrounded by FPGA on all directions. Main purpose is to connect with the external devices. And second, we have seen the configurable logic block. It consists of again lookup tables, D flip flop, multiplexer. Multiplexer is to select the direct or indirect output of LUT. That means a direct nothing but without any delay. And later a D flip flop is used to select the delayed version of the input nothing but is some type of uh, clocking signal delay is going to be added and now we are going to see the interconnects the third one third main element of this fpga is nothing but interconnects interconnects what is the purpose of interconnects interconnects are used to as you can see from the diagram interconnects are used to connect the configurable logic blocks interconnects are used to connect the configurable logic blocks horizontally and vertically horizontally and vertically see here if you see the diagram of this fpga the red color lines are shown interconnects red color lines are interconnects which are everywhere on fpga architecture see if you see clearly horizontally they are having here here that means the above and below clbs here again here again that means each and every clb if you take that is surrounded by an interconnecting wire okay they are spreaded on the entire fpga board vertically and as well as horizontally the main purpose of these interconnects is to transfer the data among clbs okay suppose i have data on this particular line i want to bring the data onto this 7 clb then this particular data has to be transferred onto the corresponding vertical line and that vertical line again is connected up here okay so two switch matrix it has to pass through and then it will come to the part a 7 clb 7 in this way the interconnecting wires are used to transfer the data among clbs okay its main purpose is to transfer the data among CLBs. Its main purpose is to transfer the data among CLBs. That, that means wherever we have the data on the FPGA board that will be transfer to that particular required place using this horizontal alignment and as well as vertical alignment interconnects are interconnects are spreaded over the board spreaded over the entire board we can write it as entire board to access or we can say transfer the data easily to transfer the data or to access the data wherever we have with the interconnecting wire that can be transferred easily okay so next important element which is nothing but switch matrix switch matrix or we can say switch block okay 
the main purpose of switch block is to connect all these interconnecting wires horizontal wire and as well as vertical wire if you see properly suppose if switch matrix is not there then the horizontal and vertical connection of these interconnecting wires cannot be possible okay so internally some arrangement is there within the switch block that i will explain how okay so the fourth important element is switch matrix switch matrix okay so i will write first what is a switch matrix switch matrix purpose is to connect the horizontal and vertical lines see here all these are vertical lines all these are vertical lines vertical interconnecting lines just now i have explained in the third part that is interconnecting wire those are these interconnecting wires vertical lines and all these are horizontal lines horizontal horizontal wet uh, interconnecting wires horizontal interconnects okay so these are vertical interconnecting wires and these are horizontal inter interconnecting wires the data between this horizontal and vertical interconnecting wires can be connected or disconnected based on the switch matrix based on the switch matrix suppose if you take one clb this is the clb you have i have explained in several clbs that are there in the fpga board if you take one particular clb aside from the fpga board then your clb is surrounded by this particular matrix like the switch matrix and as well as the interconnecting wires okay so see here the input from this clb is coming from any one of these interconnecting wires from this end and similarly from to similarly here similarly here similarly here and as well as here also okay so the data can be transferred in any direction or data can be taken from any direction from the clb as i said in the case of fpga with the same case here also clb can be having the data transfer options on any sides of this on all directions of this board that is the main feasibility that we have with respect to fpga okay it is very easy to access the data without much routing okay in that way the interconnecting wires are provided now this see here this is the routing switch whenever this switch is on the data can be transferred the data is interconnected between the horizontal and vertical line and these are wire segments nothing but interconnecting wires now if you see this our concept is switch matrix what is our concept switch matrix if you see this switch matrix alone and drawn separately the internal structure will be like this see clearly i have taken the diagrams which are showing clear cut information about this clbs switch matrix and how the switch matrix internally have uh, internally has different types of uh, logic circuits see this particular figure fpga if you take fpga in that we are having clb that clb if you take separately this will be the diagram okay clb surrounded by this switch matrixes and interconnects now if you take this clb as a switch matrix separately this will be the structure internally the switch matrix is having see i told you these are vertical lines and these are horizontal uh, horizontal lines these are the vertical lines and these are horizontal lines how these are connected see this is first one second one and so on first one second one see if you say this first line and if you see this first line these two may be connected here and again if you see this second line if you see this second line these two may be connected here see here it is shown this is a connection between this line and this line and again this is a connection between these two lines this is a connection between these two lines that means the data can be transferred from this line on to this line okay from horizontal vertical line to horizontal line either right hand side or left hand side similarly from horizontal to vertical okay so these are the interconnections of this switch matrix if you take separately if you go much deeper into this switch matrix what that particular connection specifies this particular connection if you take this particular connection again zoom it it will be having a structure like this okay see each switch matrix points each switch matrix point consists of 
six routing switches six routing switches or we can say six transistors each switch is made up of a transistor hope you understand switch matrix is used to connect the horizontal and vertical lines or vertical interconnects or we can say vertical and horizontal wire segments okay that particular point is used to transfer the data in any direction that point if you elaborate that will be having again six interconnecting transistors six routing transistors that means the data can be transferred vertically from top to bottom or it can be transferred from top to left hand side or it can be transferred from top to right hand side depending upon the corresponding switch to be on okay if you again take this particular switch matrix and elaborate this that will be internally having see here i am taking that particular point where we can say horizontal and vertical junction that particular point is elaborated into a six segment uh, uh, element see here from here to here here to here here to here see this one this one again i am redrawing there with respect to the number of uh, uh, six number of routing switches see here is a one point two three and four the data is transferred between these lines with the six number of transistors if they are on then the data is transferred otherwise no data is transferred a transistor a pass transistors are used pass transistors are used to make this purpose between this uh, north to west suppose i am taking four different directions north south west east then from north to west there is a pass transistor is connected here suppose if this pass transistor is on then the data on this north line is connected to the west line north to west the data can be transferred in this direction if it is on if this particular transistor is on Similarly, from north to south, the data can be transferred if this particular transistor comes into on state. The data can be transferred in the vertical side from top to bottom. Similarly, the data can be transferred from north to east if this particular transistor comes into on state. Okay. Similar case with the remaining ends also. Okay. Suppose if you take from the east end, the remaining same. This transistor and again this transistor and again this transistor. So, whichever transistor comes into on state, the data can be transferred in that particular direction. So, each point can transfer the data into three different directions. One is left hand side, right hand side and downwards. Hope you understand clearly how the switch matrix is working. Okay. So, if you write this separately, this will be the internal architecture. See from A to C the data can be transferred or A to D data can be transferred or A to B data can be transferred depending upon the transistors, past transistors. Now, who will provide the data for these past transistors to make on or off? We know if the gate of these transistors, if the gate is having a logic 1, then transistor comes into on state. If the gate is having logic 0, transistor comes into off state. So, depending upon the data which is on this particular transistor, the corresponding line is activated. The corresponding interconnecting wire can be activated. So, all these are coming from a memory location. The input for all these switches can be coming from a memory location. So, like a RAM or ROM, depending upon the type of switching te programming technologies we have. Okay. Uh, our next topic is FPGA programming technologies. I will explain what are the different memories we have and how to reprogram it. Okay. So, here we have a memory location that consists of uh, six memory cells. Six memory cells. These six memory cells will carry the corresponding data like 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, something like this. Then this particular line is activated and again this particular transistor is activated wherever we have. So, that the data is transferred among these two okay so depending upon the data which is there in the memory location the corresponding lines are activated and the data can be transferred among the configurable logic logs so finally switch matrix switch matrix is used to connect the horizontal 
and vertical wire segments vertical wire segments we can say interconnects in our language it is interconnects okay this is the main purpose of switch matrix six pass transistors are used for this purpose six pass transistors are used for this purpose they will get input from memory cells okay this is what the switch matrix and interconnects this is completely about fpga architecture thank you